anyone recognise that tune? Come on, it's obvious. We are the Cheeky Girls. That's what that was. Uh, well done if you got it. It was pretty obvious though, so not that well done. We are the Cheeky Girls. We have the Cheeky Girls. Touch my bum. It was like that. Can't really remember how that song went. So, you know, that's the problem. Welcome to Me One versus Me Two Snooker. Um, it's a continuing battle in which Me One plays Me Two at Snooker to see who's the best at playing Snooker. This is frame 171, and it's the 17th of the 10th, which is like 171 and then a zero at the end. Well, you know, it makes you think, doesn't it? Uh, currently, the score, if you haven't been listening up till now, then go away. You've got to listen to them all in order. It's 81-80 to Miwon. Miwon finds himself ahead for the first time in a very long time. <clears throat> and ironically, coincidentally, Me Too finds himself very much behind for the first time in a long time. So it's a strange time for both these players. Um, I should say uh, that Hivzy Toppers, uh, their family got in touch to say uh, they found the depiction and of their loved one inappropriate and do not want the arena named after them. So I am naming the arena today. You would never guess this one. After Trevor Beeson, he's the son of a bee. 97 years young, of course, the Dean of Winchester Cathedral, uh, where the bones of many uh, ancient kings are stored in boxes, some of them named and some of them just higgledy-piggledy. Trevor, no doubt, had a good look inside that. Wrote many publications, including An Eye for an Ear. Don't think, he was, don't think, he's, read the, don't think he's read the Bible very well, has he, old Trevor? Uh, to publish or not to publish? Not publish. Christians and Socialism, uh, don't go hand in hand, do they? Uh, the Deans, that sounds good. The Canons, got to mix it up, put some Canons in there as well. Of course, his final work, 2011, he's been a bit lazy recently. The Church's Other Half, Women's Ministry. Okay, it's, you know, he's of his time. But Trevor Beeson, educated at King's College, London, um, ordained in 1952. He was the vicar of Ware in Hertfordshire. That's where my wife was born. My wife probably saw saw him. Uh, he was the speaker, of the chaplain to the speaker of the House of Commons from 1982 to 1987. He's a great guy, Trevor Beeson. So, you know, the Archbishop of uh, Canterbury conferred on Beeson the Lambeth degree of Master of Arts. He was appointed OBE in the 1997 New Year's Honours um, for service to the Church of England, particularly as Dean of Winchester Cathedral. He was awarded an honorary D-Lit degree by Southampton University in 1999. And died at the age of 97. 97 and a half he was. So well done to him. He, a good life, well lived. He went, now knows whether Jesus is real or not. So, you know, that's nice for him as well. One way or the other, isn't it? Um, a fun fact from Andy McH. Me one has not been in the lead since uh, self-playing sneaker started on Twitch. That is a long old time to be behind. Apart from now, of course, you're right there. Let's get straight on to the <coughs> 803. Sorry, I'm still a little bit ill, but I'm OK. Um, on to the 803 football scores. England, of course, playing against Italy in a crucial tie. As crucial as this frame is. Uh, a draw will see England through to the next stage. A loss, and England will have to wait another game to, to get in there. Uh, it's England nil, Italy nil at the moment. Uh, in the same group, Malta one, Ukraine nil. That's a turn up for the books, isn't it? I don't know. Uh, qualifying group G, Lithuania nil, Hungary nil. That's the one I'm interested in. Uh, not as much as Serbia one, Montenegro nil though. Qualifying group H, one of the matches is completed. I won't tell you about that. But wow, Kazakhstan, well done. <coughs> Northern Ireland, unfortunately, one nil down to Slovenia. San Marino are drawing nil nil with Denmark. In international friendly, Zambia one, Uganda nil in five minutes. What a start for the Zambians. Uh, the, Zam the, the Zambezi will be f fl uh, flowing tonight. If, it, if that's in Zambia, I don't know. Uh, Qatar or Quata nil, Iran nil at half time. Australia one, New Zealand nil. That's a good score for Australia. There's a wasp or a bee in here. I don't know what it is. I think we've got some infestation, so watch out for that. It might sting me. If you can identify it, let me know. 
could be Brian Wasserpum to life. Ivory Coast 20, South Africa nil. France 20, Scotland nil. Some high scores today. The EFL Trophy, that's a result. Um, there's some results in the Euro under 21 qualifying. Uh, Israel under 21p, Germany under 21p. That's the only one I can give you. Oh, Andorra nil, Faroe Islands one in the under 21s. Portugal won, Greece and Greece nil in the under 21s. World Cup qualifying, South America, Venezuela 22, Chile nils. That's t lots of 22 nils. But Paraguay, this is an um, Paraguay Bolivia 23 30, amazing score. Uh, World Cup qualifying, South America, Ecuador nil, Colombia 30. That, I think Colombia are going to win that. And then a lot of uh, results in World Cup qualifying, Asia. Not interested in those. FA Cup qualifying. These are the important ones. Barnet 19, Avali 45. Chesham United 19, Braintree Town 45. This is the big game. Needham Market 19. Oh, no, that sounds like bad news for York City. Don't worry, York City have scored 45 goals already. And I think it's only started at quarter to eight. Um, so that's pretty amazing. Um, I can't remember the last time. It's been a while since we scored 45 goals in a game. So... Uh, very pleased about that. Uh, need a market, of course, you know, literally a market. Um, oh, they've had a goal cleared off the line there, York, as well. Just looking on uh, Twitter to see if there's any further updates on the night. Twitter's got the score wrong. It thinks it's nil-nil. We know from the BBC that it's 1945. Uh, Shep, they're, they're all 1945 in the FA Cup qualifying. It's an incredible bit of coincidence. University of Stirling won. Bournemouth United nil. Celtic B nil. Hat of Midlothian B nil. Berwick Rangers nil. And then we're in the Kaimu Premier. The Barry Town United nil. Pontebridge United nil. Carnarvon Town nil, Aberystwyth Town nil, Cardiff MU nil, Newton nil, Haverford West County nil, Pennybont nil, and the Welsh Cup, uh, Carrelli 19, Affanliado 30. So there we go. That's all the results so far. So uh, we'll uh, we'll see. But, you know, hopefully York City can uh, beat the mighty Needham Market, one of the biggest teams market-based teams you know and, and you have to remember market traders are good at football they kick their cauliflowers around all the time so um you know you've got to watch out for that oh and there's uh, some news in the england italy match maybe england aren't going to qualify uh this time uh italy have scored a goal that's a 808 score it's a one shot one goal at least first attack here was the opening goal old gianluca scamacci scamacca He's like the Italian Paul McCartney. Um, well, fantastic news for any of the Italian viewers. <laughs> uh, and we brought in um, Cocky Carrot to try and predict the score. Did somebody say predict? Yeah, there's a dick in it. No, it doesn't count. What do you think the score will be, Cocky Carrot? Well, did someone say score like you score when you have sex? Um, yeah. That uh, was a good one. Hello, uh, yes, it's me, Cocky Carrot. Woohoo! What do you think the score will be? I think me one will win. Or me one to win. Do you have one to predict a score? I think it will be 69. Did someone say 69? Uh, to me one. And uh, trying to think of another rude number. 24. Sounds like whore to, to me too. Okay, we'll see if Cocky Carrot's predicting skills are any better than that of a strange doll. Um, uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, just checking the York City score to see if they scored in the last few minutes to make it 1946. Um, no, I think no is the answer there. Um, <coughs> right, let's talk to me one about his victory last week. How are we feeling? Me one, he's just sat down. Well, Richard, I'm feeling pretty good because I have won at the snooker and I'm ahead at the snooker, as I should be. Uh, I, you know, I, I feel embarrassed. This is the first time I, in video that people have seen me ahead, apart from the videos that I've won, the Chris Evans, not that one, trophies, of course. Um, and, uh, you know, I see tonight's match very much as uh, Israel-Palestine. I think I'm going to stop you there, me one. Then we, let's not get into that. Um, it's inappropriate. Uh, let's, uh, we're not going to make it a battle of that. 
the world's in a terrible mess, me one. And, you know, people come to the snooker to forget, not to remember. They do. F well, I forget. Good. Well, we'll all try and forget that awful mistake you made there. Do you think you can win today's frame? Because if you do, you'll be two frames ahead. Well, that's very much my um, intention now is to uh, try and win this one. Be two frames ahead. Uh, if I can win next week as well, three frames ahead and so on. Add for infinite. Well, it's been a fascinating chat. Let's bring in Me Too. Uh, me Too. You were the one I was expecting would bring us uh, some trouble with the... But it's Me One, as it turned out. So, uh, how are you feeling? Well, Richard, uh, I'm very disappointed in the way I've been playing uh, since the uh, summer break. Um, drew that drew that fr frame, I mean, 45 all. Because quite lucky there. Uh, and then lost. And now, very much behind. Um, can't remember if 168 was this uh, post summer or not um not getting very good interviews here from the boys they seem a little bit tired i well i'm not very well i'm a bit tired um but i'm gonna go out there for my fans i know i'm i i'm oh no i'm not breaking me one's breaking i wrote it down wrong sorry you wrote it down wrong um me want to break hopefully that can get four points on the board straight away and uh bob's your uncle OK, well, we're handing over to Commentator 1, Commentator 2 in the Trevor Beeson, Dean of Winchester Arena, uh, to see what they can make of today's play. Thank you, Richard. Commentator 1 here, of course, joined by Commentator 2 in the old Trevor Beeson Arena. Good luck to Trevor. A nice guy by all accounts and um, wrote a lot of publications. And An eye for an ear, my favourite. An ear for an eye, I say. If someone takes your eye, take their ear off. Just, you know, they, it's not equal, just, you know, fair, isn't it? What do you think, commentator two? Who do you think is going to win today? Um, I couldn't give less of a fuck than, um, than, than I've felt all day, all the time we've ever done this. Um, to me, it's the same man playing himself at snooker, and thus it is irrelevant. Well, please do not spoil the magical illusion for the little kiddies. Um, these characters are very different. Uh, me one is, I can see him making his way to the hockey. He's got chalk dust on his trousers. That's how seriously he takes it. There's a hoover in the way of today. Me one, he hasn't gone in off. It's a beautiful pot, a beautiful uh, break actually. Nearly gets behind the blue. And me too has some work to do here. And he has fails to do that work. Uh, although he's made it tricky for me, one here. This can really only play safety from this point. And that wasn't very safe from me, one. Me, two. Surely gets a pot here. Oh, he hit it too hard. Is he going to? No. I think he was aware there could be an in off there. Me, one. Can he score, score the first point? No, he can't. It scoots its way around the pocket. Me, two. Can he score the first point? No one's got a point. This is, might be the longest we've ever gone without a point. Me, two. Oh, the. Surely me one's going to get this. The cue ball drifting towards the pocket. And me one's off the mark. The uh, His form continues. Oh, just misses the black. But uh, me one's ahead. And uh, me two's going to have to fight hard to come back from this. Calculating, calculating. Me one, one. Me two, zero. But me two is equal to the task. He's equalised. A lot of people thought that wasn't going to happen. He does seem to have slightly snooked himself here from anything but the the brown. Can he double that? I don't think so. He's tried. Oh, nearly goes in off. It's one all. One apiece. Me one. Cautious start from both boys. He tries to pot a red and fails quite badly. Me too. What can he do here? He just smashes it. Is he going to go in off? Of course he is. Me too. Finds himself now surely seriously behind, a whole four points behind. Uh, can he come back? Uh, in the past, I'd have said yes, he can, but now I'm not so sure. Me one could clear the board from here. Great start from me one in clearing the board. He's potted a red, long red, difficult red. Now, black's really all he can hit. I don't think he can get it in unless he can double it. He's tried to double it. Oh, he's potted the red. He did manage to double something. It was a red, so Miwon got one point, but gave away seven points. And amazingly, 
Over to the computer voice. Calculating, calculating, me one, six. Calculating, 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 me two. Calculating, eight, me two. Oh, found himself briefly ahead, but he's just gone in off again. So me one retakes the lead. And I don't think he'll give it up so readily again this time. Me one. He just needs to pop all the balls and he's won another frame. And there's another beautiful pop from me one. Definitely the player in form here. Me one. Can he get this yellow? Oh, he nearly doesn't hit it at all, but it uh, luckily he does. So me one moves further into the league. Calculating, calculating, me one, 11. Me two, eight. <clears throat> me two, needs a pot here. Did he touch the green with his cue? Referee one says, tells you referee three, three says no, me one. Perhaps uh, getting some justice there by potting a red. I think he's going to get the, he's got the pink. This is looking promising from me one. This, oh, the pink's gone in. No, it doesn't really affect anything. Me one, can he get a three ball break? Mm, no. No, we can't, but me one has got something better than a three ball break, a two ball break, and a break of seven points, taking him to 18 in total, and me two languishing back in on just eight points. Needs to do something, and he needs to do it fast or just wait for other colors. Me two tries to, oh, uses the camera. Oh, beautiful. I thought he was, I thought I was going to miss, but he used the camber of the board to take it in. And me too has his own two ball break now. Is this the, the start of something beautiful? Admittedly, it's only a break of three, but it's still two balls. Can he make it three balls? You know he can. Me too is back in the game, my friend. I think he's going to get a four ball break. The black's looking good. He's got the black. He's got a four ball break. That's a serious break now. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Could get a five ball break here. Oh, it jingles and jangles around the lips of the pocket like a lady's mouth around a penis. Sorry, what was that? What was the score? Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, what a turn up. Calculating, calculating, me one, 18. Calculating, me two, 19. And we have a match on our hands. This is the me two of old. He's back, a four ball break, something we hardly ever see in this sport. Me one, oh, has he got it? No, oh, me one nearly scores in two goals, but misses both times, and me two, is he gonna come and eat this up? No, he's missed, is he gonna go in off? No, oh, he's right up for the black as well, it was almost on the black, but now me one has a chance. <coughs> Excuse me, me one has potted the red. He's got himself on the black, he needs to get the cue ball right down the old green board. He's done it. He's done it. everything he needs to do here. Maybe a little bit too far, but that might be good because it brings him some purchase back. He's got a break of eight. Can he make it nine? This would be an amazing shot if he could do it. He hasn't done it. Break of eight for me one and a snooker, I think. So me one, leapfrogs into the lead. This is, I don't think it's going to be 69 like Cocky Carrot predicted. Me too. Oh, unlucky. Hits the brown. Gives me one another four points, and me one is running away with it now. Has quite an easy red to finish off the reds. Some high class playing here. Oh, that ball was in the pocket. I can't believe it. It literally jumped out of the pocket. And but he's got an incredible snooker instead, which might be better for me one. Me two. Oh, look at that. Me two nearly pots the red, pots the white instead. And now it may. There's some people on the board. They think it's all over. Calculating, calculating. Me one, 34. Me two, 19. Uh, this must be me one. Me one pots again. Well, it seems unstoppable. He's potted an amazing blue. He's got a, there's the, what breaks? We're getting a break of eight, a break of six. Can he make it a break of eight again? Surely not. No. But a break of six for me one takes him to 40. He's 21 points ahead. Me too can still do it. Me too. Tries to double the yellow, does it off the blue. What an amazing shot. He's absolutely fucked himself with a snooker. 
Oh, tries to get out of the snooker. And unfortunately, he was closer to the blue than he realised. Oh, that's surely the end for me too. He scores two points, taking him over 20. But Miwon gets four points, taking him to 44, plays 21. And an easy green that I think... Oh, Miwon's missed the green. He missed the green. It was so easy. Me too. He might go for the snooker here. He hasn't, has he got it? Oh, he might have, got, oh, he got it, but I think it's me one will get out of it. It's slightly risky on the pink. I think he just got the green there, me one. Me too. Oh, that was almost the shot of the match and you've seen some amazing shots this match. Me one. That was almost, that jumped out of the pocket again. That's the second time the balls have tried to not do the bidding of me one, me too. An amazing shot from me too, is it? Yes, he's fine. He's going for a double, and not oh well, or is, or is it a snooker? He was going for me too. Finds himself only 20 points behind now. 44 plays 24. Me one is snookered. Oh, but he gets out of it, but he goes in off. Oh, could this be the comeback of this millennium? So far in self-playing snooker. It could be. The referee one redistributing some of the balls around the pocket. Me too. He needs this for his young fans. Oh, what a pot. Amazing play tonight from both players. He has to be careful not to go in off here. Who dares wins? And he dared, and he's potted. Is he going to go in off the... Oh, he's gone off in the mo... Oh, in the most unexpected way. Oh, me too. He, he had a... It looked like he had the world in his hands. Uh, but the cue... But he put too much spin to pull back for the pink. So he got the brown. He got the blue, but the, the ball went in. It's now calculating, calculating. Me one, 49. Me two, 32. And me one has the impetus, and I think that could have been it if me two. Oh, oh, me one. A little bit of luck going for the top pocket. The cue ball comes back in. That wasn't luck, that was skill from me one. Can he finish this off? Oh, doesn't matter. He missed the last ball, but gets a beautiful break of 11. Takes him right up to 60. And to be fair, the carrot wasn't far off. 60 plays 32. Oh, but for that, oh, it's like Sliding Doors. Have you seen that film Sliding Doors, Commentator 2? Yeah, I have seen it. Um, it almost, carrot, Cocky Carrot predicted there would be <coughs> like um, 93 points and there were 92 points in the match. Um, absolutely astonishing work from Cocky Carrot. Absolutely astonishing work from me one. Absolute bad luck from me too. I mean, I think had that ball not gone, gone, that cue ball gone in there on the blue, he was on the pink. He could have cleared. He could have got a, a, a record break of 22. Wow. I mean, I, there's so much to ingest from this frame. Um, we're going to have to head back. Have you seen the film Sliding Doors commentary too? Yeah, I have. It's the worst film that ever exists. I like it. It just makes you think about how things would be different if things were different. Yeah, things would be different if things were different. That is definitely true. But I don't know if I need to watch a film to think about that. Well, we're not here to discuss uh, cinema uh, criticism. We're here to discuss the uh, snookers. And um, I think we've seen a classic for the ages. Uh, one of the best matches we've seen for a while. Me too, showing a little bit of fight, but still not enough fight. He loses again. I think he was 10 frames ahead at one point. Now look at him. What a fucking sad excuse for a human being he is. Back to you and an absolute cunt as well. Back to you, Richard Herring in the studio. Well, yeah, what a game. Uh, whew. It's hard. It is hard to ingest all of the stuff we've seen there. I'm not, gonna, I'm not even going to try and ingest it. And... Um, I'm just going to quickly talk to Me Too, first of all, about how he feels. Me Too, that blue. Was the, was the the blue that made you blue? I'm not blue, I'm just upset. Um, 
Uh, you know, yeah, I think had that gone in, that would have been five points to me rather than five points to him. I would have been on the pink. I could have finished the pink, got the black, tw break of 22. Suddenly we're 81 all. Uh, but for the just the whore that is gravity and balls sliding around, which uh, I hate it when balls slide around. Um, yeah, things could be so different. So I'm going to go away. I'm going to lick my wound. Uh, your wound, yeah. And I'm uh, going to give it a good licking. Your wound, yeah. And uh, we'll come back next time. We'll come back stronger. And I'll do this for my fans in hospital. Yeah, look, this is a difficult time. I think you saw a bit of the old me too tonight on the old green board. But the luck was going me one's way. I, he, I went in off. He fluked the blue. And it could have been so different. It's very like the film Sliding Doors. Well, me one, do you think it's like Sliding Doors? I think it's more like <coughs> the film um, Potting Balls. Is that a film? No, I'm just saying it would, would be, that's, what it would, that's what I would call the film. I'd call it me one, Potting Balls and winning. And that's what I did. I'm back. Uh, I'm black. Uh, and I'm... Like. Well, nothing they're saying is making much sense tonight. I think they're tired, overtired, but it's weird how the tiredness made them play the snooker of their lives, I think, up to an extent there. And maybe not the highest breaks they've ever done, but a four-ball break we've seen from the loser, unbelievably. You'd imagine getting a four-ball break and still not winning the frame. And uh, some beautiful snooker from both players. Look, I hope you'll be back next time, whenever that may be. For I am the Lord of the Snooker Seti. Um, from me and all the me's. On your way. Enjoy your day. Keep snooker in all the way. Thanks a lot. Goodbye.